you guys. Right now I'm going to be doing a uh, review on the Sony NEX 5. Um, for all of you who don't know what the Sony NEX 5 is, it's a uh, um, interchangeable lens mirrorless digital camera. So basically it's got the features and the sensor of a full-size DSLR um, without the uh, the mirror so it's you know it makes it a lot you know more compact and a lot smaller um, as you can see it's absolutely tiny it's uh, more comparable to a, a point and shoot um, on it right now for the sake of this video because it's um you know a little bit smaller and more maneuverable with this uh, lens is the uh, Sony 16 millimeter pancake um, this is one of the, the many lenses I have for this camera I just wanted to point out that this is the uh, camera that I use for every single one of my videos um, you know thus far uh, this year so um, if you you know want to check out the video quality of the camera you can just check out any of those videos because they are done solely with this camera and uh, as I'm doing a review on this camera I can't use it to shoot this uh, this review so right now I'm using my uh, iPod touch um, so I apologize because I, I know it's not going to be that great a quality but you know I just I had to do a review on this camera because I just I absolutely love it so um it's a 14.2 megapixel uh, mirrorless camera it's got a uh, full-sized APS-C um, sensor you can see the huge sensor in there so what that means is uh, it's got the same exact size sensor as most of your um, DSLRs right now, um, excluding of course the the full framed uh, DSLRs. So basically, what that means is you're going to get all the same depth of field um, detail and you know all the other you know uh, low light capabilities that you'd get with a uh, a full size DSLR, you know, in a uh, compact camera size. Um, this is the NEX5. Um, they also make the NEX3 and actually they just came out with recently the NEX C3 but the NEX5 um, has this nice black magnesium body which makes it feel uh, I don't know more just uh, more uh, expensive, um, more, you know, it's higher quality material than the, the plastic that's um, used for the NEX3 and the NEX C3. And also the reason I went for this over the uh, C3, I mean the um, 3, is that you get uh, 1080i video with this, whereas with the uh, the three you only get 720p so along with the magnesium body and the video uh, upgrade um, that's why I went with the five but if you are interested in the uh, magnesium body or the um, higher video capabilities then I would recommend you get the uh, the NEX3 since it's you know about $150 cheaper and uh, forego this one but if you are interested in video I do recommend this so let's just take a quick you know again I apologize for the, the video um, I'm not going to be able to get extreme close-ups but um, let's take a look at the bottom first you have the battery door here this is your battery SD card door. There's your SD card, and then you pull this little tab, and your battery pops out. 
then you have your tripod mount um, then on this side you're going to have your micro USB and your HDMI out and going on the top you have your uh, um, speaker stereo uh, I'm sorry stereo mic ports here's your uh, left mic and your right mic and then in the center you're going to have the uh, the accessory door um, it comes with a, uh, a flash that uh, is just a tad bit more than useless um, that's why I don't really use it much but you uh, put that in there and screw it on and then you have your uh, accessory um, your flash it also comes with, they also, uh, it doesn't come with, but they also have an optional um, boom mic for this, um, which I haven't uh, felt the need to get yet because uh, this does, you know, have such great uh, video, I mean, uh, audio performance, you know, just using these uh, default, um, these default mics, um, so I haven't gone for that. They also have a, uh, I believe they have a optical um, viewfinder, but that's like $250 or something, crazy expensive. All the accessories are expensive. Here you have your uh, play button where you can you know, look at the pictures and videos you've taken. Obviously this is your shutter release. And then here's your on off switch. This is your dedicated movie mode. So wherever you're at um, in the menu system or you know in the you know picture mode you just press this video and I'll start taking this press this button and I'll start recording video um, here you have your uh, menu button and this is a kind of a uh, like a back button and here you have a uh, four direction button and you have a center button and you have a scroll wheel here you have a little bit of a textured uh, raised rubber piece. Um, I guess you can say that's for a uh, little added traction if you want to shoot one-handed. Now the nice thing about this camera is how this front grip is designed. You know, it gives you a, a substantial grip and really makes you feel like you uh, have a strong hold on this camera. Um, obviously, here's your huge uh, three-inch um, LCD screen. And cool thing about this screen is that it is uh, adjustable. You can pull it, pull it up like that, so you can take uh, you know low angle shots, and you can even pull it out further than that, like that, and uh, either twist it down or twist it all the way up. So that just adds an extra level of you know adjustment, which is nice. So let's take a look at the uh, menu system real quick. So you turn it on, it's going to go to, um, let's take the lens cap off. When you turn it on, it's going to start off in uh, whatever your last um, uh, mode was. So right now it's going to be auto. And uh, you press this button up here, it'll take you to your menu. And see if I can get you in here give you a little overview you got your shoot modes your eye auto intelligent your program auto aperture priority shutter priority manual exposure 3d sweep panorama um, sweep panorama anti-motion blur and uh, these are the new picture effects that have been added with the latest firmware which are you know pretty cool